Hey gang, it's me, JMO, with an instant reaction to what can only be described as a total embarrassment to the city of Cincinnati and to two colleges that have been heated rivals for a number of years. Earlier this afternoon, the University of Cincinnati and the uh, Xavier University um, in Cincinnati played their annual Crosstown Shootout game. Every year, this game is probably one of the most heated games in local sports. Every year, it's it's a it's a great game. It's a fantastic local tradition. But what happened today leaves a black mark on that tradition. Because with nine seconds left, what can only be described as an embarrassment. A bench-clearing brawl took place. I don't care who started it. You know, that doesn't matter at this point. What matters is that this brawl took place, and it should not have. It was an embarrassment. The two sides of this whole thing completely embarrassed their city. Both teams embarrassed their city today. You you went out there, you played you played a what can only be described as a pretty good game. Xavier won by twenty three points in the end, but it had to end with nine seconds left because a couple of players could not control themselves and it led to a Bench clearing brawl. A ba a basket brawl, if you will. A brawl in the Cintas Center. What are you thinking? Are you even thinking? That's what I want to know. Are you got were you even thinking when you started throwing punches and kicking and stomping? other people. I don't care if it's your heated cross-town rival or a conference, you know, or, or somebody in your conference. I don't really care. The problem is that you guys went out there, you played a decent game, but you couldn't leave it there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you had to go out there and you had to fight. Here's what I think needs to happen. Number one, the most obvious thing is that suspensions will most certainly be dished out to all of those players responsible, as they should be. Number two, this game shouldn't be played next year. I make an example out of this situation. If I'm, if I'm either Coach Mick Cronin or Xavier's co coach, who I can't remember his name at the moment. If I'm either one of those coaches, hell, if I'm both those coaches, I make an example out of this situation. I don't play the game next year. I take this game away from, from both teams as an example of what not to do. Of how not to react when you're getting your tail kicked. Number three... Some of these players, most certainly, you kick them off the team. Mick Cronin, I, I applaud him right now. I just read that in his press conference this afternoon, he said that he physically took his uniforms, or took uniforms away from some of the players because he said, quote, they don't deserve to wear them. I'd clap with both hands right now, but I'm holding the holding the the iPod with one hand. So I say bravo, Mick Cronin. Job well done. Absolutely. Take the not you know take those players off the team. Remove them from the team. They're done. They're done. Especially Yancey Gates. That's despicable what he did. I don't care who started it. You don't brawl at a 
at a heated rivalry game like this it, it and embarrass your hometown. Both of these teams are within the city of Cincinnati, and both of these teams embarrassed the city of Cincinnati today. That's my fast reaction. I'm J-Mo. I hope to see you guys right back here in the very near future.